good morning everyone it's 5 57 i just got on here um hopefully my camera doesn't die it's at two percent but yesterday i literally had no motivation so i didn't even work out or walk so we're on here today no matter what i'm working out i'm going to the gym i'm riding and everything um i think i was talking to my therapist yesterday by the way i think everyone should have a therapist i'm a therapist as well um if you didn't know but i was telling her i was supposed to only work eight hours on saturday and ended up working 11 and then on sunday i ended up working 13 hours when i was only supposed to work 10 so i think that literally just like exhausted me especially sunday i came home at like nine o'clock at night and came home and i was like i'm so tired and i just like laid in bed until christian went to bed at 10 so i think that's what happened um so we out here we're about to do it i came in with a low weigh in of 41.4 yesterday i was 143 the reason i did this is because my camera is like telling me it's dying so i'm gonna jump off um like i said so i went down two pounds and i think it's because i was just really 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 bloated um and today well you can't tell but i'm less bloated but we're about to do this and we're about to watch christian guzman's summer shredding hello everyone oh so i just wanted to like give everyone an update because i'm probably gonna get this message soon so i just wanted to let you guys know this is a lifestyle channel not like a prosthetic channel or like like a workout channel or anything like i started this channel because of like my lifestyle so because i know i've done like a couple of hauls and i'm about to show you like a trader joe's haul um and then usually when i do hauls people do like it but i get more of like why aren't you showing your prosthetic so that's why i do try to show like me walking in the videos to show you guys like that because i know that's what you guys like and i know if i do a haul you guys kind of only like hauls that i try stuff on but i actually haven't gone shopping and because it's springtime like i don't know like i'm about to go like on a bunch of vacations probably so i'll probably start like buying clothes for my vacations especially like the ones last year i kind of i need to donate um because i've had for like while like being in college for a while by the way just got my nails done so i feel like a baddie like how good do they look the four easter by the way it's friday afternoon i was supposed to meet with my coach today or at least i thought i was so like i texted him i was like hey i'll be there at like 1104 and he's like what are you talking about i was like yeah like i'm on my way he's like we're supposed to meet next week so I ended up like already had like time off and everything. So I kind of just took the rest of the week, um, the afternoon off. And I called my friend and she's like, yeah, if you come now, I'll do your nails. I was like, oh, yeah, because I've been wanting to do it. I follow like this girl, I follow like a bunch of girls on Insta and they got like their nails done on one girl. I was like don't you break your nails in the gym because that's what i do and she's like no like i'm wicked cautious of like what i do so i'm like I so the salon i go to the manager she's kind of like the manager is my like best friend like she was in my wedding and the girl that does my nails is both of our five friends because i don't know if you guys know but i used to work at a nail salon so she like moves from the nail salon that i worked at I like worked in reception to like this one because the girl who's the manager she was like looking for someone to take care of like money and everything and she's like i trust you mary joe so i was like yeah that's fine um so yeah she does my nails she just charges me like kind of like a flat rate so like whatever is like the least expensive she can charge me that's what she charged me um these were supposed to be 55 but like i had like a discount or whatever um because at this particular one i go to you can get like points um and if you pay with cash you get even more points but i usually pay with card kind of depending like if i know i'm gonna go there in advance i try to go get cash um but i had like 22 points so i used 20 points so i paid 
35 which is really good because that's basically kind of like how much a fill is kind of but anyways so like I said so anyways so I thought I was supposed to meet with my coach I did not but there's a Trader Joe's down the street from his office so I was like I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's because for this every prep I always crave something it's like the craziest thing this prep I've been craving mangoes or like specifically fruit and I've wanted um Rice Krispie treats so I'm really not supposed to but because fruit is a carb oh. um but I got these are so good you guys the chili spiced mango I ate the whole bag I'm not supposed to but I was thinking it's either eat this or a chocolate chip cookie and there was a Starbucks so I like the ones from Starbucks heated or there's a crumble cookie right there and I was like it's like no Mary Jo so I ate this and I was like I'm gonna get sick later <sighs> that's a different story okay that's all I got copy of radio so excited okay so what I've been loving what they've done oh this is so cute they got like little cords thank you so much we appreciate you hope you enjoy they've been writing personal notes which I've been loving even more about them <gasps> latte i couldn't remember i knew it was a caramel they came out with oh my God. um and I, what i think happened is the guy that owns one of the owners of like coffee over cardio he dates one of the girls who's a coach for first form and first form is all about writing personal notes so i think because of that they started to write, ooh, good job. Um, they started to write the personal um, things, the personal notes. Oh my God. That smells so good. That literally smells like a caramel latte. Like, you know, like a hot caramel latte. Yeah. Mad and good. All right, I'm gonna make that for tomorrow. So like I said, for Trader Joe's, All right, so I got this. So good. They also have it in the dry pineapple. Dry pineapple is good, but I'm all about the dry mango. Babe wanted rice today, and I was like, hey, like, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's, and they have, like, the frozen rice. Do you want me to get it? Because he used, like, my rice the last time. He's like, no, no, it's fine. I still bought it because I know, like, in, like, a rush or whatever, you got to want one of these. There's like no room in my freezer. Okay. And then, so I bought salad dressings. I got this Italian dressing with Romano cheese. Looks pretty good. And if you can see like the cheese pieces. Um, for two tablespoons, 30 milliliters, 80 calories, seven fat, two carb, less than one protein. And then I got this goddess dressing. It looked so good. Um, it says expeller, pressed canola oil, apple cider vinegar, water sesame, tahini, soy sauce, whatever. And then for this, the same thing, two tablespoons, oh, 31 grams, which is basically like 30 grams, 120 calories, 12 fat, two carb, two protein. Um, I was asking the girl about this one because it says the... Um, apple cider vinegar she's like i will let you know a bunch of people have purchased it this morning and a lot of people are very happy it came back so that's actually really good it is like a little because of the apple cider vinegar like a little balsamic but you can definitely taste the sesame tahini which i love which is kind of like a hummus type thing. Um, and then I gotta make a fat bomb, so I got cream cheese. And then 
I got ricotta cheese because if you guys know, I have this with zucchini every day, every night for dinner. Probably not going to have that today because I had the mango. Um, but, oh, and my excuse for eating the whole mango bag is I ripped it accidentally the way that I ripped it. Um, but I only had like a little ricotta cheese left. So I was like, you know what, since I'm here, just might as well buy it. Oh, and I bought one avocado and with some mango because I went to go have it last night and the avocado I had in my fridge, it was so rotten. It smelled so bad and I was like, nope, we're not going to do this. But that is my Trader Joe's haul. Um, before I used to get cookie butter, if you guys remember, I'm literally obsessed. I like the chunky one, but the only thing is with that... The high carb is pretty high. And because I'm on keto, you can't have high carb. Oops. Um, so, and for cookie butter, I think it's so damn good. I can like literally eat half a jar. Not even lying. I've done it before. And it just teases me. So I, and I have like jars from before. So I try not to have as much. But yeah. And that's my haul. I'll try to throw in, since it's only like a 10 minute video, I will try to throw in a workout. Bye you guys. I'm gonna go pick up Christian. I wanted to do the, um, I'm gonna go make a coffee right now. This is my, have I ever showed you guys my afternoon coffee? All right, let's see. Nope. All right. So this is the copy of a Cardio Cold Brew. Um, this is the Kiss Me I'm Irish. I do usually six to eight ounces in the afternoon. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do seven. Six point seventy. And then I do like 10 grams. Um, of the heavy whipping cream. So. And this is how my tiny little fridge, I have a tiny fridge. This is what's in my tiny little fridge. Whooping cream. Just do like ten grams. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this is formula. No. This is level one red velvet um, cake. Um, level one is through first room. And, oh, much better. Actually, let's go up. And, oh, my camera's gonna die. Okay, so the level one is basically a meal replacement. The formula one is for your post-workout shake. And then I do a scoop of the chocolate MCT powder oil. Why is my phone, why is my camera doing that? I don't know. So I do a scoop of this. From also Coffee or Cardio. But I put this one already in here. So then I can just dump it. I have like three of these, I think. I think I broke one though. So not sure. I 
And then just add ice. Cheers, it's so good. Good morning, happy Easter. I'm at my parents' house. We about to go to the gym, but Christian is a little confused. Why are you confused, Christian? I'm not confused because there's so many presents like there that you didn't even see. What, what is going on? See that far. Okay, hold on. I ain't coming. Wait a second. Is that what I'm thinking? Ooh. Look on that table. I don't know. You don't have to go to No, I, we have no shoes on. What's. Ooh. Easter basket. Ooh. Ooh, there's Easter eggs. Hey, we must spend for the Easter bunny. Oh. Wait a second, let's get our coats and shoes on, okay? Why are we getting coats and shoes on? Because it's going to be cold. Yeah, but we're not getting Easter eggs right now. So these are the ones I got for the kids. This is for my brother's daughter. And then this one I got for Christian. He just wanted a bunch of bath bombs. Hey, don't touch my Easter wraps, kids. How do you know it's for you? Because I'm old. Remember I said they were in bath bombs? Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. What? Oh my god. I knew it. Wow. This divine wooden family. <laughs> Even this little guy. Oh, he's so cute. So, I think this is baby's Bianca's, you know that. Oh, well, how do you know that? Because look at the sock size. These are so small. Oh, that makes sense. Did you go potty yet? I don't know. Go potty, kid. Okay. We to go outside. Why are we going outside? No. I need to go to the gym, Christian. I just need some eggs. That's it. Ooh. All right. Well, you stay with Grandma. I gotta go to the gym, okay? Okay. My priorities is the gym. Your priorities is the Easter basket. This is Smelly, so we had to change her name to Rebecca. This is my stuffed animal since I think I was like 10, 9, 8. My father would know, but he's sleeping.
Christian, what are you doing? What is it? He's so cute. I'm putting <laughs> Maybe he can be friends with Rebecca. Oh. Maybe she could actually get friends with Cole. Ooh. Maybe do that. Um. Right, she's gonna watch the baskets. Okay. But we need Pete to watch the other baskets. That's okay. They're outside. They should be safe. No, I mean the basket in the front. Oh. Okay, you done. Happy egg. Let me see. You write me. It says something on the package. Package card. Do I do things? Mm. Okay, um. What is that? Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, can I eat him? No. Um, why do we have No two? What are they? Mine, backbone. Got red. Mm. Green. Ooh. Uncle Steve and Auntie Nippy has the boat at the marina. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love those. I think that basket might be for me, Christian. No, then, the, Mommy, did is it for me or is it for Grandma? Oh, I don't wear those socks. I can pick my feet up. That must be for you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're with eggs. I love it. Hi, Muggo. Good morning, Uncle. Happy Easter. How was the movie? It was good. How was the popcorn? Oh, I made it. I didn't know. Oh. Did you eat the cookie? Yeah. How was the cookie? That was good. Not often, but... Yeah, was it like too much to eat in one sitting? I want yeah. a nub. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. That was Mama's favorite when she was a little girl. She used to have little beads candy inside. Mm. You remember that, Mommy? Mm-hmm. Christian, don't rip it. It was Auntie Nancy's favorite when she was a little girl. I thought her favorite's ribbon candy. Me too. Wait, this is one that's Paw Patrol again. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Oh. Okay. Maybe because we the Issa Bunny knew we threw out your old umbrella. You tell. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Oh, nice. mm. Go coins. Yep, yeah. those are Muggles' favorite. Yeah. I got one, two, three. Yeah, three of these are four. I think there no, there was another blow, oh, right? Oh. Yeah. Ooh, candy. In the garage. We used to have orange. Wait, I found the orange. <laughs> wow. What is that? A rind fizzery. You, you got a chance to find rind. We're definitely going to find cobble, right? No, I don't know. Yeah. 